Now, someone tells me, tells me, herniated disc, L3, L4, L4, L5, 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 S1, mm -hmm. but you have no significant trauma. This is posture. Yes. And we're talking about a non-weight-bearing MRI. Yes. So, here's what happens. And again, it's not all the time. It just happens to be in a couple of thousand ones I've seen. Yeah. Maybe all the other ones were, were different. Yeah. When we're looking at the spine, the spine is synchronous and contiguous. Everything is connected. Yes. Dr. Gonsad used to talk about subluxation compensation. One yes. segment gets stuck. Two, three, four segments compensate to make up the lack of motion. I'll give the example. You yes. tell the person to just bend forward and touch your toes. They go down. This is called global motion, I where see. the entire spine has to move. Okay. And each individual bone has to, and they've already quantified this, intersegmental motion. Okay. So white in Punjabi, clinical biomechanics of the spine, mm. the authorities of the, of the biomechanics of the spine. Mm. They've already quantified all these uh, degrees and, and, and movements. Mm. So if one area gets stuck to mm. three, compensate become hypermobile mm. you put that person on the Next back time. the stuck joint don't move yep the hypermobile ones move yep okay so is that in every case no it happens to be in a lot of cases they see okay. almost all of them